Hey, uh, tell me your first name. Paula. Paula, we, we've had a delightful conversation for the last 10, 15 minutes. We have. And you've been sitting in the relaxed sauna with it uh, on yes. and with the sauna open. Yeah. And you're loving the relaxed sauna. So first we're going to, I want you to tell me about your experience with the relaxed sauna, but then more importantly, or just as importantly, you have a story of how you got into holistic health that the world needs to hear. I do, thank you. So let, let's. So here we are. Well, I had experienced far infrared heat therapy a few years ago in a large wooden box of bright light, and why I went into it naked, and I didn't really feel anything but heat. And so I, I heard lots of things about how it can help, and so here I am at the biomed seminar, and I come across this gentleman. The relaxed sauna. Yeah, the yeah. relaxed sauna. And I got in. It's not a box, as you can see. I can leave it open because I'm kind of prone to heat. I've been like a uh, hot box all my life. And I'm feeling uh, sore muscles, sore neck, even a tooth that needs to be seen by a dentist um, uh, that was bothering me today. Kind of eased, the pain is easing. It's wonderful, and I'm all for easing pain. My story of how I tripped up on things oh, that are all for, for, First, uh, what was your level of pain before you got in this morning? Oh, I would say probably an eight. What's it now? Probably a three. So you feel good? I do feel good. You're, you're surprised? Well, my whole mood and energy's changed. Yeah, you, which you, is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that. That's those are the intangibles. Yeah, they are. And things people really don't notice till they walk away, right? Yeah. Were you surprised how, how quickly it worked? Yeah, yeah. It's not, you don't have to stay an hour in it. Yeah. And and be like a sweat box. This is nice. It's you, nice. You're doing a little sweating on your on your forehead. Yeah. Okay. But I, but I feel warm, but I don't feel hot. Good. It's not uncomfortable. So, so t t tell us about how you got into holistic health and, and about your history and well, and let's my, let's have fun talking because yeah. the world needs to hear this story. Thank you, I appreciate that. So, um, you know, I just grew up in Middle America and decided I was going to be, you know, an artist, a graphic artist. I ended up not doing that and going into corporate America and and you know, buying into the rat race, one hundred and fifty thousand dollar a year salary and all the things that go with it, um, the tension and the headaches and the sickness and because that's what I thought was the American dream. And um, I, I remember driving home up the highway. I, I'm from Denver, Colorado. And I would drive from the Denver Tech, if anyone knows that area, up I-25 every day and think to myself, towards the end of my career, I was meant for something more. And I don't know what that is. So I just wish the universe would, you know, it's going to have to slap me upside the head like a brick. And then it happened when I was 42. I started getting ill. Um, like I had flu symptoms, my hair was falling out, I was sore all the time, and I had this, uh, I just, my body in general did not feel well. And How, I was how many years some, ago was that? Oh goodness, 18. Okay. 18 yeah. years ago. And um, I'm 59, and so yes. this would have been when I was 41. Yes. My doctor told me that I was experiencing premenopausal symptoms, so I went with it. By the time I was 44. I was so sick I had to quit my job because I just couldn't get up and go to work every day. Um, I ended up uh, working around some babies part-time at a uh, hospital where they took a titer test and found out that from a blood transfusion at the age of 15, I had contracted hepatitis C and it was very active and my liver was failing. Wow. And they told me, the internal medicine guy in Denver, one of the best, said, most people with your viral load are not sitting across from me anymore. We need to start you on pedulated interferon and ribavirin right now. And you have about a 30% chance of clearing because your viral load is so high. Um, you will lose your hair and your kidneys will fail. And I was 42 years old. I said, Sounds absolutely exciting. not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely not. Yeah. I have five teenagers at home. I can't go through that. Yes. And he said, well, then you'll die. And, and I said, well, there's other things out there. And he said, well, don't tell me you're one of those milk thistle people. So and that's the first time you heard of milk thistle? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. And I thought, you know, there's got to be another way. I'm a smart woman. So I started talking to people. I started reading about my symptoms. I went to actually a vitamin cottage, a natural health yes. food store. I, I've, been, I, I've been selling to their health food store massage tools for 40 years. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, yeah. yeah. That's, it started right there in Lakewood, Colorado. Exactly, yes. Um, and I went into the store because they had this big 
green, well, at the time it was green, it's now orange book. Yes. That was written by Phyllis Balch, a naturopath yeah. who's passed on. I, I now, know them well. Nutritional they, they, prescriptive. They, I think yeah. they bought saunas for me too way I back. I bet they did. I bet they did. <laughs> and they had a hep C protocol in yes. their book. And yes. I took it home and I started throwing everything out of my cupboards and out of my refrigerator and I started doing... As a matter of fact, Phyllis's store was the first store that bought foot massagers from me in 1980. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> well, alongside getting better, I, the, you know, long story short, I did 80% holistic, 100% of the time, organic. I, I uh, ventured into acupuncture and massage and... Tesla light and all the things that I'd only heard about and didn't really believe in the woo-woo stuff, right? I became a reflexologist and a colon hydrotherapist and when I saw what was coming out of my body, right. yes. I realized I really was sick. Hundreds of parasites wow. that were eating me alive. And yes. all because my vibration was low and my liver was failing and they were causing that, you know? So and when I, I raised my vibration right. and turned over my cells made them healthier before they turned over and replicated within three months time i couldn't believe how much better i felt and that was using colonics yeah and yes. all the other modalities right eating yes. better and right and so here i am fast forward uh, my liver has regrown itself i never took a <laughs> western medicine drug in my life yeah. i don't look dead right yeah. and and i'm really grateful and always looking for things like the relax sauna to uh -huh. you know to help people, to help people, to, to bring my story of health um, through other people, to people, to the world, because there's, not everybody believes in everything. Not everyone wants a colonic. It's not like a massage. Right. So you've got to have alternative ways all yes. the time to help yes. people and meet them where they are. So I'm grateful that you're here at this expo and that I can experience this. And thank you for letting me tell my story. Well, I'm going to let you talk more because I'm going to ask questions. For, we talked about you know, the, the field of dreams, yes. the underlying theme besides build it and you will, will come is ease his pain. Right. You know, and all five of the main men in the story, they had their pain eased. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's like, you know, whenever we're in the holistic health profession, we're helping people ease their physical, emotional, and mental pain. It's true. And they all live together. Yes. It doesn't matter. No, that's right. You know, I, I've learned so much about cancer and different things yes. and helped people with that through colonics. Right. But mentally, this has been important. You know, when someone's on your table, you're very up close and personal right. in a colonic session. They tell you things they would never tell anyone. <laughs> and so you get to, and as the stuff flows out of them, right. so does, so the, does the junk. And, the, and yes. they, start, right. they start spewing. And you have an opportunity yes. as a healer to say... You know, um, who would you be if you didn't have this illness? Who would you be? Have you ever thought about that? What would your life be like if you didn't wake up every day and feel like this? Because it can happen, and it should happen. And if you get into your mind that you're able to be healthy, you have to have a new life. And there's nothing wrong with that. And getting them over that fear and into wellness is... That is a, that's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. That's what we're here for. What, what, what kind of resistance have you had from people uh, doing colonics? Oh, goodness. Because <laughs> I, 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 I've been doing colonics since 1984. Bless your heart. Yeah, yeah. or actually even before that. Well, you know, yeah. I know massage therapists think everyone needs a massage. I think everyone needs a colonic, but yes. it's not a popular thought. That's yeah. the exit door, right? We, and we, I thought the same thing. But we, ha we hold on to stuff in our digestive tract in yes. our colon you know when you're born when you're formed in your mother's womb yes the first two things that form are your brain and your digestive tract that's why the gut brain yeah. oh, is just so important that makes sense when people say i have a gut feeling they really do oh yeah if you take drugs to alter how you feel you have indigestion you have GERD you have whatever you have yes you take drugs to alter that indigestion you're also altering your mind they yeah. are very connected and so you need to change your mind about that and realize that there are solutions, alternative solutions to healing that don't include drugs to dumb it down. Right, and right. And once you can get a hold of that, it, it is, you will see and hear and know things you never knew before. You'll be a different human. That's You'll, great. Yeah. That, and that's what, that's what I'm into, awareness, people awakening to their true oh, nature. Goodness. and. 
and, and their potential and realizing that the body, the mind, the emotions, that you're not that, you are what you are. It's true. It's true. And you can ascend. And yes. the frequency can be so much higher. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Now, I've, I've been uh, demonstrating the Relax Sauna for, since 2007, 8, 9, uh, at all the colonic shows. Oh, awesome. At and IAC. there are so many colon hydrotherapists who are de- who are actually selling the Relax Sauna in their practices and, and thousands more, you know, who are using it. Yeah. And so... Well, that's what I'm here for today and right. I have the information. Because I, this is a, it's a, it's a lovely thing. It's not a big wooden box that you have to assemble, get right. in pieces and assemble. It, it feels very and looks very transportable. It is. And, um, it'll it'll actually, it'll yeah. actually fit in a suitcase. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. And that's you know, with, without the chair, it'll fit in a suitcase. Yeah. And it fits in a little carrying bag. It weighs 18 pounds. That's without, awesome. And the chair comes with it too. So it, it can be used anywhere, anytime. You can almost take it with you. Exactly. You can. Yeah. Yeah. Portable. You can it's take in, it with it's you always in my yourself. hotel room. And, you know, heal your friends. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. I love but, it. But I, I want to know more about uh, your your mission, what you do, and in terms of uh, um, what, what, tell me about the success you've had. Uh, with parasites and yeah. and the colonics yeah. and and your healing journey, what are the the great the great things in about two three more minutes? What what you did to open you up to this whole new realm? Because you were working where now? In corporate America at a mutual fund company. I was running a call center. I've yeah. been doing that for about twenty five years. Yes. On the treadmill, right? Right. <laughs> On the right. corporate treadmill. Yes. Where all things are possible, we're taught, right? <laughs> <But> <laughs> I always felt like I was meant for something more and I felt like I didn't know what that was. I was really searching and then the universe, I actually asked the universe to, you know, hit me upside the head with a brick. (laughs) Like getting super sick. Careful what you ask. Yes, (laughs) right. That's exactly what happened. And through my journey, I've helped so many other people who have had cancer, who have um, had, who are victims, unfortunately, of over steroid use, detox from those steroids. That is a horrific looking thing, I will say. It manifests itself on the outside of the body like a burn victim. Um, I've helped people through, you know, steroid detox, uh, cancer detox. Um, a lady just recently, fatty liver issue, they told her, they put her on a list for a new liver. And she's a young woman. She was my daughter's friend, and I said, let me show you something. Yeah. Um, we've got to start, uh, you know, building supplements for your liver, having you eat liver-healthy foods, get rid of the alcohol, the non, you know, the the non-natural occurring sugars, get rid of the GMO wheat, all of that. I stripped her diet down. She was very diligent and her fatty liver is gone in about Ah, four months time. Wow. It's a beautiful thing. I've helped people who have been on the waiting list for adoption because their bodies have women, their bodies have rejected their husband's sperm. Wow. I helped them alkaline through colonics and diet. Right. And now they're pregnant or they have children. It's a it's you rewarding. Know, oh, so rewarding. It's a beautiful life when you just grab hold and, and do what you're meant to do. Yeah. yeah. So, so when the doctor told you that you were going to have to go on chemotherapy because of having hep C, yes. because of uh, trans- blood, blood transfusion, transfusion yeah. you're not a needle user. No. <laughs> no, I'm not a junkie. <laughs> but when he told me that I was going to lose my hair and my kidneys would fail and that yeah. I had a 30% chance of clearing and I'd yeah. be sick for nine months, I said, yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah. And he said, then you'll die. I said, well, we'll see. If my milk thistle doesn't work, I can always come back and see you. <laughs> and that was 19 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty alive. <laughs> and and, and what, what was the greatest thing that helped you in your healing? This is long before you heard about the Relax Sauna because this was 19 years ago. It is true. I think the greatest thing was to learn that I, you know, there was a lot of meditation going on, but the colonics... I I did some acupuncture, I changed my diet radically, and I didn't accept that hepatitis C was my demise. I did not accept that. I accepted it as a journey elsewhere. And here I am, helping other people, where, you know, in corporate America, I was helping a man. So I feel really good about that, and I'm grateful to meet people like yourself, who are... Who are in the same, you know, you're you're in the same uh, arena, um, in the same line of work, you know, which is helping people. 
because I, that's what humanity I, I've, should be. I've been full-time since 1976. That's awesome. Because that, that was a long time ago. Yeah, uh, before I graduated. I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> before I knew anything about FC even. Right. But yeah, yeah. The, and you know, it. there is nothing... You know, if, if I fall down off a of scaffolding and break a bone and I've got a bone sticking out of my leg, i got yeah. a compound fracture, I don't have an oil or a colonic that's going to fix that. That's right. So there are things that all have to work together. Yes. But if it's internal and it was caused from a vaccination or a blood transfusion or something that you ate yeah. or, you know, some sort of frequency that you were exposed to that you should not have been or some yes. sort of chemical, right. you can get rid of it. Yeah. You can. There are ways, like far infrared, like yes. colonics, like right. like a healthy diet that doesn't include GMOs. There are ways to heal yourself. Physician heal thyself. It's the truth. It uh, the truth. Hippocrates said, find me a way to create sweat or fever, and I will cure disease. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, you know, colonics goes back to the... Um, Oh, what is the name of the? It's a it's a paper they used to write on the Eber papyrus. Uh -huh. Eber, yeah, it was the ancient Egyptians. They right. used to break off reeds. That's right. And put them, you yeah. know, up there behind yeah. when right. they had fevers and stand in the river. Yes. They knew what was going on. Oh yeah. Cool it down. Yeah. You know, right. clean it out. Yes. And it's the truth. So any way you can clean your body, whether it's, you know, whether it's sauna or food or, you know, um, Tesla light, acupuncture, massage. Do it. Do it. Your body is a living, breathing thing, and you have the availability to clear it. And so you're a colon hydrotherapist now? I am. In, in, in the Denver area? Yes, I am. Beautiful. Hi. Great. Well, um, this is great. I'm going to see what we can do to okay. promote you. We're awesome. going to put this video online. Great. And uh, do you uh, want to share a contact information? Sure. Okay. Sure. So my contact information is H. C, like whole, like holistic colon hydrotherapy, HC okay. for health. Okay. At gmail.com. And that's F O R health. Uh, yep, yeah. for okay. health. And um, my name is Paula Stanley. Okay. And reach me through my through my email and I'll send you to my website. And if you're in the Denver area and you want to check out what's going on and uh, maybe even try a <laughs> yeah, you even try your own your own sauna experience like I did. I'm gonna have one there for you very shortly. <laughs> that's great. That's great. And and uh, what is your website? It, uh, my website is Colorado Colon Health. Okay. Com. Very good. Yeah, okay. all one word, Colorado Colon Well, I, I think your story is, is beautiful. You shared it to me before we even did this video, so that was about a half an hour ago. Yeah. Your healing journey of how you got started in holistic health through through, through them discovering you at hep C through, and, that, and that's through, through a blood, blood transfusion. transfusion. That's why you were super sick yeah. and couldn't function. It's true. And you seem to be functioning pretty well now. I am. So in other words, here's a live example. This is data. Yes. Data. One example <laughs> of, of uh, it's an anomaly. Yeah, it See, is true. I, I'm really into to science, and I've, my degree is in mathematics. Oh, awesome. And you collect data, and then you have realizations from the data. It's true. And, and if there's a contradiction, it means the theory is wrong. It's true. And you got to go back to square <laughs> it, one, It, it right? doesn't mean you ignore the, the data that doesn't. <laughs> that doesn't, doesn't coincide that conflicts with your, with your yeah, yeah right, that right, conflicts right. with your theory. With you. <laughs> so Crazy. you know, there's so many people in this world who, again, uh, need to to get back into balance and and again, the relaxed sauna as well as meditation and spiritual exercises, it it gets you connected to that which you are. It's true. And and it's when you're true. connected to, to that which you are. You, you access a different kind of energy, you feel relaxed, you're tuned in, and you feel more free. Your frequency is different, yes. and you will feel it. And, and you can, when I said you'll see things, hear yes. things, it's different. It's just like it's the colonics, like, it's yes. It's like raising up a level. Right. And who doesn't want to do that? It's, it's a new you. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Paula. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah.